can go out and party, I'll be at my house, I'm a quarantine queen. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Ellie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my merch, you know it's out. You know it's available. I'm wearing a new merch shirt every day. And boom, you might get a shout out just like Kishandra Davis. Look at her. She doing, she is slaying. I love that pose. She like this. Let me do it too. Let me see if I look as cool as her. Hold up. Okay, so she like this. She like, I don't look as cool, but yes, yes. And if you'd like your very own shout out just like Kishandra and everybody else that I've shouted out, make sure you take some pictures of you in the merch. You gotta be slaying it too. Like everybody I posted is slaying it. So tag me in a picture of you on Instagram, Twitter, and I will repost you, give you a shout out, and show you all the love that you deserve. Also, one more thing. Um, August 22nd, a new song is dropping. Me, 11, and Future Magic It's called My Life. You can pre-save it. The link is in the description and it might be in the pinned comment too. Pre-save that and let me know if you did so I can like post you on my story. Y'all know if you show me love, I'm gonna show you the love right back. It's like, I don't know if other influencers do that, but I be doing that. <laughs> but now that that self promo is finally out of the way, I know it took a while today. We are finally here for some more episodes. So Trixie finally got out of Kitty Prince Prison, and now we're gonna see what happens. What the hell are you doing here? I miss you so much. Aw, you miss me so much you can't even hug me? Period. Oh, right, <laughs> sorry. Aw, I just can't believe you're here. Why didn't anyone tell me you were getting out now? Um, about that. It was kind of a last minute thing. Aw. Spill the tea, go away so she can spill the tea. All right, spit it out. What am I missing that everyone else obviously already knows? Maybe we should take a walk. That is, if it's okay. Go ahead, girls. Oops, wrong voice. Oops, that was supposed to be the warden. I'll just wait here with Linda. Thanks. She'll be back in one piece, I promise. If we happen to come across a man in a white van with candy, we will not get in. Unless, of course, he has Reese's because that's my favorite. Trixie. Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> She's a mess. She's taking it surprisingly well, considering the poor girl just lost her mother. Trixie has been through a lot, more than most people even know. She's a very strong young lady. I'm willing to bet she's hurting more than she's willing to show. I have to admit, it's nice seeing Lola with a friend. She hasn't had too many. Trixie's a really good friend too. They really grew very close in a rather short time. While you're here, I wanted to ask you, how is Olivia doing in there? Ooh, honestly. I know it's for the best, but I've been very worried. Nice to see you worrying about one of your daughters in there, period. Tell her, I wanna live with the warden. Because you sure didn't seem to worry about the one who didn't even actually do anything. Mm. Put her in her place. I'm sorry, that was petty. And we petty out here, sometimes. Maybe you're right. I know I made many mistakes by Lola, but I can't do anything about those now. I just don't wanna make the same mistakes with Olivia. Hey, I know all about making mistakes with your children, right? Oh. I haven't even been in the picture that long and I have no right to judge you. I'm sorry, Linda. I'm sorry too, Walt. Oh, oh, wow. I think that's the most pleasant exchange we've had in a very long time. Right, I'm confused. Do you think it's a fluke? <laughs> I don't know, but honestly, I miss this. Oh, being able to just talk without all the anger and resentment getting in the way. You know what I mean? I think I do. You totally miss me. Uh-oh. Just like that, the feeling has passed. <laughs> I think we get back together. Mm -hmm. So, you never answered my question. How's Olivia doing? I've been dying to call her or write her, but I'm sure she still hates me. Honestly, I think Olivia doesn't hate anyone as much as she hates herself. Ooh, I don't know if you noticed, but Olivia is a very angry girl. I don't know where this anger originally stems from because she's very closed off, but there's definitely unresolved anger there. The better news is, I think it's actually been good for her to be where she is right now. She seems to finally be realizing that her actions have consequences. She does seem remorseful for what she did to Lola, but at the same time, she still has so much resentment towards her. Any idea why? I know I should have an answer for this. Why don't you then? It's clear that I miss so many sons. All I know is the girls were best friends when they were little. Then all of a sudden, that just stopped. I kept trying to push them back together to regain that bond they once had but everything I did just seemed to make it worse. It's embarrassing to admit it, but I don't know my own daughters. You know, I've been thinking. 
How would you feel about family counseling? Tea. I, get, get your cups. You, me, and the girls. I like this idea. I think we all may have things we need to work on and deal with. It's worth a try, right? That actually might not be a bad idea, but I'm not sure how Lola or Olivia will feel about it. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm willing to try anything to help our family move on from the past. Yes! Uh, what do you say we discuss the idea with the girls when the time is right? I think that sounds like a plan. Uh-oh. Ring, ring, ring. I better answer this. She usually doesn't call me unless there's an emergency. Good evening, Serena. Is everything all right? Sorry to bother you, sir, but you told me to inform you immediately of incidents like this. Incidents like what? There was another physical altercation in the yard, sir. Uh-oh. Only this time, I'm afraid it was more severe. <gasps> oh, God. Previous experiences wants to say that Jerry and her minions were somehow involved, but that's impossible. Considering I specifically instructed that they were to be watched at all times until Jerry's transferred out, right? Right? Serena, tell me they weren't involved. Not after the incident earlier with Olivia and Trixie. I'm sorry, sir. <gasps> but there was a miscommunication with the guards. It was in the middle of a shift change and... Are you kidding me? What the hell did they do now? No one saw how it started, unfortunately, but I'm afraid it was a three against one situation, sir. They beat up my sister, it's on. Like, I don't even like my sister, but it's on. The fourth young lady has been sent to the infirmary in pretty rough shape. What about Jerry and her minions? Where are they now? In the office and waiting to hear what has become of them, sir. Put them in solitary confinement for the night. Give them the night to think about what they've done before I deal with them tomorrow. Is there any way we could add death as an option? <laughs> because I'd rather choose death. No, don't send us down there. It's so isolated. That's the point of solitary confinement, you idiot. Screw you, Jerry. This is all your fault. You just had to drag us down with you, didn't you? Oh yeah, like I really forced you to do anything. You two are just as guilty as I am. Well, nothing like this is ever happening again. You wanna know what else isn't happening again? Our relationship. Oh, oh. Fine by me. Now I don't have to pretend I find you interesting. Oh, they just broke up on bad terms. On second thought, maybe solitary confinement won't be so bad. <laughs> and she says she's had enough. Sir, would you mind if I put you on hold for a second? If you must. Thank you, sir. Girls, I'm sorry to interrupt, but do you think you could do me an itsy bitsy favor? What's that? I was just wondering if maybe you girls wouldn't mind. It would be great if you could- Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut your freaking pie hole. Just stand there and sip on three tall hot glasses of shut the hell up. Oh, can't you see I'm on the phone? That is so rude. She did what needed to be done. She said what needed to be said and she said what she said. Yes. That is so much better. I knew you girls would understand. Sorry about that, sir. Where were we? You're about to do us all a favor and put them in solitary confinement. I'm gonna make sure something like this never happens again with these three. Also, you never told me. Who was the fourth girl involved? The one you said was in rough shape. Olivia Burke. What if she got amnesia? That would be... Let me, let me stop. Meanwhile, I bet it feels weird being out, huh? Oh my God, don't even get me started. Do you have any idea how long it's been since I went for a walk? Felt the cool breeze on my face, grass under my feet. If this were a movie, I'd be singing on top of a mountain right now. I've heard the way you sing and I assure you that won't be necessary. Mm? There goes my dreams of being an international pop star. Wow, my dreams ain't gone though. Hey, stream my music. Oh, since when? That's what auto-tune is for. Oh, I could think, Never mind. <clears throat> Touche. Trixie, I am so glad to have you back. But do you mind if we stop somewhere and take a break? You read my mind. Walking is great and all, but my feet are way less impressed. Uh, <laughs> but are you sure your boyfriends won't mind I'm stealing you away? First of all, Harley and Axel aren't my boyfriends yet. It's complicated. She should have said it's an entanglement. Oh, clearly. Your letter's made for excellent reading material. Trust me, things have only gotten more complicated since my last letter. Uh-oh. Honestly, I need a bit of a breather from them right now anyway. Where are they tonight anyway? Harley went to track down Axel, but that's a story in itself. Good thing I'm not going anywhere, is it? Mm? Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Found him. Is this the bus stop or a hotel? Oh, thank God. I've been looking for you everywhere. Axel, what are you doing at the bus stop? Yeah, bus stop. Waiting for the bus, obviously. Axel, the bus doesn't run this late. Where are you planning on going anyway? Cancun. 
You're gonna take a bus to Cancun? Yeah. Take him home. He, he turned and I need to sit my seat back. <laughs> Axel, what the hell? Sorry, I think I might've hit the snooze button there for a second. Now, if you excuse me, I'm waiting for the bus. Oh my God, just get up, Axel. I'm taking you home. I'm not taking no for an answer. Go ahead, Harley. I like when you like this, okay? Feisty Harley. Excuse me, ma'am, but how do you know my name? Ma'am, you're seriously acting like you don't know me? Just get the hell up so I can take you home. I appreciate the offer, Susan, but you're not really my type. Axel, it's Harley. Harley? I have a brother named Harley. Only, oh my gosh. What? You can't be my brother. My brother hates me. And he's crying. I, he's crying. He doesn't hate you, Axel. Yes, he does. He was my best friend and I ruined it for a beautiful girl who smelled like peaches. <laughs> oh, curse this bleeding heart of mine. Sorry, that last part was a tad dramatic, <laughs> but still. Curses. Come on, Axel, let me take you home. No, I wanna sit here alone in the dark and be sad. Not even if I buy you chicken nuggets. Oh, I'm going for some chicken nuggets. Yeah, think about it. Free chicken nuggets? Well, shit, you have discovered my weakness. Me, but don't think this means you're getting lucky, whoever you are. I'm a classy broad. Besides, the one person I want doesn't want me back. Oh my gosh, we broke him. You're going the wrong way, Axel. Thanks for ruining my dramatic exit, Susan. Just for that, you're buying me fries too. Oh, at least take off those ridiculous sunglasses. Oh wow, that makes sense. I was wondering why it was so dark outside. Stupid. <laughs> I'm never letting you drink again. Wow, he got wasted. Ooh, pizza. So are you gonna tell me what's wrong now? What was with that weird moment back at the house? You said you getting out was a last minute thing. I suppose I have to tell you eventually. Uh-oh. They food look good. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> The thing is, I found something out today. Something I'm not sure how to deal with yet. I know you don't like talking about your past and I've respected it, but I don't want you to feel you can't talk about stuff with me either. Whatever it is, you can tell me. It's not like I don't tell you everything. True. My mother died. It was a drug overdose. I guess she's been dead for a while. Oh my God. You're just now telling me? Tricks. I'm so sorry. So that's why they let you out early. I was getting out soon anyway. Besides, since my mother is the one who put me in here and my father is dead too, I think Warden took pity on me. This is a silly question, but how are you feeling? I sense your relationship with your mother was complicated. You know all about complicated relationships with family. My mother, she put me in a tough spot. There are things I think I'm always gonna be angry about, but she was still the only family I had left alive. I always thought that maybe someday we see each other again. I imagine a thousand times the speech I give her about how she was the first person to ever break my heart when she chose a man over me, drugs over me. But now everything is final. I'll never see her again. It's not like she was the greatest mother in the world, but I've already lost so much. I had a sister once too. I never told you that, did I? Wow. What happened to her? She's dead too. Oh! But that is a story for another time. So wait, where are you staying at now? Safi's sister? You're never gonna believe this. I'm going to stay with the warden actually. Wait, I wanna stay with the warden too. Seriously? I told you. He took pity on me. It was that or a foster home. Wow. Speaking of warden, can I ask you a question? Oh God, I was wondering when we'd have this conversation. Yeah, Warden is your dad, am I right? How the hell did you know? Don't act so shocked. It wasn't hard to guess to anyone who pays attention, period. From the moment you got there, he took a special interest in you. More than he's taken an interest in any specific person. It was even like that with your sister in a way, though she's a hard person to be close to. I also noticed he seems to be very familiar with your mother. Mm -hmm. 
add all that to the family resemblance and it's not that hard to figure out. I have to admit, I imagine this conversation being much bigger of a deal. Well, honestly, it sucks you kept a secret like that from me this long. Stream secret. <laughs> then again, I'm not really one to talk about keeping things to myself. I only just recently found out the truth. I wish you would have told me sooner. I would still have a lot to work through. But honestly, I'm happy he's my father. Aw, I like him. Aw, I like him too. I think even Olivia might like him, but she never admitted. True, and she got the whole pizza box. What? I'm still on the fence if I actually wanna know or not, but how's she doing in there anyway? My sister, has she made everyone's lives miserable yet? Where do I even start with your sister? Was she always so complicated? Complicated is certainly one way to put it. Evil bitch is another, period. <laughs> it takes a bite of pizza. Savvy seems to think she's starting to learn her lesson. We're talking about the same person, right? Tell Sappy to stay away from her. She's probably being manipulated somehow. My sister is very good at manipulation. Ooh, look at my eyebrow. What? I... What? Nothing. What? Uh-uh, you can't do that. You can't say nothing after you just started to say something. So out with it. All right, look, this is your business, not mine. But you know me and I always have an opinion. In my eyes, your sister has done too much damage. After all she put you through, I am never ever going to like her. I'm never going to fully trust her either. But all that being said, we both know you can't go through the experience of being trapped in that place unchanged. Everyone leaves a different person than when they went in. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. That's only natural. Your sister is in there with no family and no friends. Nobody really likes her in there because of loyalty to you. Not to mention yours truly may or may not have drove her to the brink of insanity. She's got nothing but all the time in the world to think about what she's done and how she got there. She's had the opportunity to fall in with Jerry's crew and she turned them down. The point is, I think there might be a chance that she could change. It's all just too little too late in my eyes. Then again, she's not my twin sister. At the end of the day, it's up to you whether or not to believe she's redeemable or not. I didn't even know how to respond to that. I used to dream that one day my sister would change. Then again, I used to be naive, innocent. That was before she tried to ruin my life. Not just my family, my twin. It's hard to get much closer than that. She bullied me, harassed me, isolated me, got me locked up and tried to get the key thrown away. The saddest part is, I don't even know why. I begged her to just talk to me. Tell me what I've done that was so horrible. But she doesn't even have enough respect for me to do that. The more I thought about it, the more I knew I could never forgive her. In fact, sometimes I wish I never had a twin at all. How much easier would my life be if I was an only child? Sure, it wouldn't be perfect, but the more that time passes away from her, the more that I see she is the biggest source to all my misery. A cold, heartless witch walking around with my face. Hate is a very strong word filled with poison. But if I ever hated anyone, I hate her. Ring, ring, ring. I actually think I felt my soul jump out of my body. <laughs> it's my mom. Hello, Lola. Do me a favor and call Marie to come pick you girls up. Your father and I have an emergency and we need you girls to stay over at the Hunters for now. Uh-oh, well at least Trixie gets to meet the Hunters, but wait. Marie already knows to expect your call. I just don't want you girls to go back to an empty house. But I don't understand. What kind of emergency are you talking about? Um, well, one of the girls back at the camp got in some trouble. Your father needs to go back and deal with it. But that doesn't make sense. What kind of trouble? And why does that mean you have to go too? Because Lola, it's your sister. I'm afraid she's been hurt. What do you mean hurt? She's okay, right? I don't really know yet, Lola. Oh my gosh. Just please call Marie, okay? We'll give you an update the moment we have one. But mom. Oh, it was Jerry and her minions. I just know it. I hope she'll be okay. Dang, Lola, after I just said I hated her. Let's pay the bill and call Marie. Oh my gosh, after Lola said she hated her out loud. Meanwhile, after I got some food in his system, it seemed to sober him up. He was certainly easier to handle now, but he had also gotten very quiet, which could partially be from being drunk and needed to pass out. But as his brother, I knew it was more than that. Though his eyes were clouded from drinking, I could see a lot of pain behind them. Pain that I knew words I said out of anger put there. Though he wasn't exactly innocent in this situation, I certainly didn't mean to break his spirit. I thought of what Lola said, about how lucky we were to have the bond that we did. I desperately wanted to make everything okay again, but I just didn't know how. Because the facts still remain. My brother and I have fallen for the same woman. 
One or both of us was sure to get our heart broken. We were both too deep in to turn back now, and I didn't know if our relationship could survive it. So we're almost home. You feeling okay over there? I'm fine, Harley. Thanks for the ride and everything. Well, you finally know my name is not Susan. <laughs> That's a good place to start. Oh, he didn't laugh. Axel, you don't seem very fine. Well, I am. One of the advantages of having no feelings. Liar. Axel, I didn't mean it when I said that. Of course I know you have feelings. As much as it sucks to admit, you two have a lot in common. You were both seriously cheated in the sibling department. Oh, Axel, don't compare yourself to Olivia. You could never be that cruel. Oh no? You were right. I knew you had feelings for her. But I got feelings for her anyway. I tried to kiss her, Harley. You know what else? Part of me really wants to do it again. You spend so much time looking after me, trying to make sure I stay out of trouble. You never really ask for anything in return. Then I repay you by going after the one thing I knew you wanted. Because I'm mean and selfish. It's no wonder you hate me. It's just like everyone else. Oh, he was sober enough to know what was going on, but not enough to filter himself. I knew that if he was completely sober, he would have hid these feelings away. But in this moment, after this day, he just didn't have the strength to pretend he didn't care. I don't hate you, Axel. I never could. I'm just jealous of you, okay? I've always been so shy and awkward. It took me forever to even admit that I had feelings for Lola. But you've never been afraid to go after what you want. You were always 10 times more cooler than me. It's no wonder why Lola likes you. I sure don't feel very cool tonight. I know I've said this before, but I mean it this time. I don't ever want to drink like this again. Not that it matters since mom and dad will probably kill me once they see me anyways. Also, you're wrong. You're the cool one. You just never realize it, but I've always known. That's why I'm proud to call you my brother. I'm really sorry for messing everything up. Hey, sometimes you can't help who you like, right? I can't just expect you to not notice how incredible Lola is. Aw. <laughs> I reacted poorly. I don't have a claim on her. Maybe I shouldn't be mad just because you did what I refused to. Own up to the way you feel, even though it's scary. I should have been honest with her from the beginning. Maybe things would be different. So now what do we do? Hell if I know, but I really hate fighting with you. I love you, bro. Aw. I love you too. Aw. Yay, they made up. You're still not getting lucky though. What? Shut up. Stupid. Uh, I'm happy they made up because that was sad. And Axel cried twice, I think. I can't believe I'm actually about to meet the Hunter family. Oh, after all you've told me, I feel like I already know them. Don't worry, I'll try real hard not to embarrass you in front of your boyfriends. <laughs> okay, Trixie. Aw, uh, poor Lola. Please say something. You know by now how much silence makes me uncomfortable. Me too, girl. I could hear Trixie's voice, but I couldn't seem to get myself to respond. My mind in a place much too far away to put words together to form a sentence. My heart torn between the anger I was not ready to let go of and concern for the monster that was once my sister. Aww. Olivia will be fine, Lola. You know what I was thinking about right before my mother called? I was thinking of how angry I was with Olivia and how much my life would be easier if she wasn't around. You don't think I like thought that into existence, do you? You you might have. Seriously? What I think is you're giving yourself way too much credit. No offense, but you're not that powerful. Mm. Something like this was bound to happen, though. Some might even call it karma. Ooh, three against one is not karma tricks, no matter how much of a bitch my sister is. As mean as Olivia is, she has never been very physically tough. <laughs> Probably the only reason she didn't get her ass kicked more often was because she has such an attitude. Most people are afraid of her. She deserves to be taught a lesson, but this is not what I had in mind. I just want her to stop trying to ruin my life. That doesn't mean I want something seriously bad to happen to her. I get what you're saying, love. I actually defended Olivia against Jerry while I was in there. Figures they do something like this the moment I leave, cowards. But I still think she's gonna be fine. I'm sure Warden will see something like this doesn't happen again. I hope so. Aw. Let's go meet the Hunter boys. You know, I was just thinking. You know how I always called him Daddy Warden? Yeah, that's like super awkward now ah! because it turns out he's actually your daddy. Marie just pulled up, let's go. Oh my gosh, Daddy Warden, back at the Hunters. Yikes, we finally made it home in one piece. 
It's a Christmas miracle. It's Christmas, but I haven't even figured out my costume. Costume? What? I think I'm getting my holidays mixed up. Still got a leftover buzz, I see. Speaking of leftovers, what do you say we go raid the fridge? <laughs> no, we literally just ate. Besides, we should probably get you in bed before someone sees you. They're bound to see me eventually, Harley. I live here. What are you, drunk? No, but you are. I meant we should not let anyone see you until you sober up, Axel. Why for so? Because having to answer to your parents about where you've been would be a real buzzkill. Ooh, Axel. Did you have a good time, son? It could have been better. <laughs> but thanks for asking. Oh, he's in, he's in so much trouble. Uh, look at Harley. Wow, Harley shook. I'm going to assume by the look on your face that wasn't the right answer. Harley, let me speak with your brother alone, please. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm his brother. Oh, come back here, Susan. I can't believe I shared my nuggets with you. Axel, I'm gonna need you to look at me. Look at my face and see I'm not joking. So we can have a reasonable conversation. I'm listening. So what happened to you tonight, son? Your mother and I had an interesting talk about what happened with you and your brother in regards to Lola. So then you already know what happened. I just needed to get out and have some fun was all. But I didn't mean to get out of hand. Sorry if I worried you, Dad. We both know tonight wasn't about having fun. That's the thing that worries me. Tonight was about you not knowing how to deal with your feelings. You know I'm not concerned with you going out and doing what kids your age tend to do. What concerns me is when my kids feel the need to run to alcohol or smoking every time they have a problem. You're right, Dad. I made a mistake and it didn't help. I'm sorry. You put yourself in danger tonight, Axel. Walking around by yourself, not even being able to think straight. What if it wasn't your brother, but someone else that found you? What if you had gotten seriously hurt or no one knew where you were? Do you understand what I'm saying, son? Whatever it is that feels broken inside you, find another way to fix it. I could never replace you, you idiot. <laughs> not gonna lie, you almost had me crying until you called me an idiot. <laughs> Douche move, dad. You'll have to get over it. After all, we're gonna be spending a lot of time together. Dad, if this is your new way of inviting yourself to the next party, ah, oh my God, I'm kidding. You mean I'm grounded. I understand, good. Now, go get some sleep, son. Night, Dad. Night, Susan. Ah, Susan? He funny. Please be honest with us, doctor. How was our daughter doing? She did suffer a mild concussion, so she's a bit disoriented right now. Is that why she hasn't been speaking? I know you don't know her, but I assure you, the silence is not normal. <laughs> it's still a little early to say, but it could be part of it. She's also been through something very traumatic and she's very, very fatigued. The good news is we have every reason to believe she's gonna be just fine. We'd like to keep her under observation here for a few days though, just to be safe. Understood. Thank you, doctor. I'll be right back. Watch her be concussed and forget everything she's ever done to me. I'm gonna be so mad. Cheer up, Linda. You heard what she said. He said, sorry. She's gonna be just fine. This could have been much, much worse. I just feel like it's my fault. All of it. It always comes back to the fact that I was a horrible mother. Don't start that, Linda. At least you were there. At least you tried. Which is a lot more than I can say, isn't it? We created these kids together, and I should have been there so we could raise them together. If we're playing the blame game, I have plenty to feel sorry for. Well, I'm really glad you're here now. Ooh, a hug. Ooh. Ooh. I'm glad I'm here too. Ooh. That's all I can say. Olivia. Sister? <laughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Oh my gosh. Hi there. Oh my gosh. I'm looking cute though, always. Dang. What do I get dressed up like this for? L Lola? What the hell are you doing here? And why are you dressed like you're going to the Grammys? Do you really like it? I have a date tonight. Last night was Harley, tonight's Axel's turn. Oh, I would've been here sooner, but since you've been gone, life is just one huge party. <gasps> Must be a dream. I I don't think I've ever been so happy in all my life. You, on the other hand, don't look too good. It's no wonder no one misses you. Oh, Lola, I know you're mad, but why are you acting like that? Acting like what? You? This is a dream. You're dreaming, you silly goose. You actually thought I cared about you enough to come visit? Of course I don't. 
Nobody does. Why don't you just get the hell out of my dream? But I thought you'd like the company. Stream company. After all, you have no friends, no boyfriend. Everybody you did have in your corner have long since forgotten you exist. Isn't it funny? You're an even bigger loser than you always claimed that I was. Yet, I'm out here loved and free, living my best life, living the life that you had planned out for yourself. Then here you are with nothing but guilt to keep you company. You did the right thing by not falling in with Gary's crew. You've been beating yourself up trying to figure out how to do the right thing, haven't you? Look how good that did you. You could have died for crying out loud. Care to place bets on how many people would show up to your funeral? <gasps> do you think they'd even have a funeral? Something like this never have happened back when people feared you. Don't you see what this means? All you have is that bad attitude of yours. Those walls you've built are what kept you safe. Now that you don't have those, you don't have anything. You've forgotten one important life lesson you've lived by for a long time now. It's kill or be killed. I think we both know there's no chance for redemption here. <laughs> At least not for you. I'll always be the superior twin and you know it. The fact that you're mean was the only thing that made you mildly interesting. <gasps> now you don't even have that. How sad. Dang, dream little got her. Oh wow, I need to get going. Axel's waiting for me. I tell him you said hi, but he doesn't remember you exist. <gasps> oh my goodness, dream Lola going in for the kill. It was just a dream, Olivia. It was just a bad dream. I heard a scream. Are you all right, Olivia? No, I'm not all right, but I will be. Get some therapy. We about to go to um, family therapy. What is it? So let me guess, Olivia's gonna be like a nice person now and now I have to be nice probably, but Lola ain't gonna be nice. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want more episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with at least one friend. I feel like the Fist Fam is one big friend group now. Like the comments get so many likes from each other. You guys, when you tweet each other, you guys like each other's tweets. It's like we're all best friends. And best friends wear matching outfits. So make sure you check out, you know, Fist Fam outfits with the uh, Z at IamAllieFitz.com and buy, stream, and download my music because it does indeed slap out. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.